Right, subject A. Right, so am, am I just going to carry on? I, but, well, clearly my job role changed. Uh, at, at first it took a bit getting used to because obviously I managed people. Um, although that I still uh, manage the CEAs, uh, and I still do, um, but it very much lies on the BPM now. So um, I don't... I, I, I don't think about the fact that um, I'm getting paid for a role that I don't do it, because the, the, the salary was a huge change. That's how William Hill had to kind of phase it in and we, the supplement was put in place and it's still there at the moment and um, I very much agree with that because it, it, it's a huge amount of money to take away. Personally, um, it, it's quite different for me but I understand it in the bigger picture because you can't take um, between eight and ten thousand pound off salaries without putting something in place uh, to phase that in. So the phasing is is been well. It, it's a year and now it's half um, of the supplement is getting paid for now to June. So plenty of <coughs> time as far as I'm concerned to kind of readjust and sort yourself out. Mm -hmm. Again, the job role is different. Um, but only as far as managing people. I, I still um, look after my customer the same way as I've always done, but that comes down to personality. Um, and nothing really much changes for me at all in that respect. Have you that noticed that people have had sort of lower engagement since the restructure? Well, no, I can't say that because, Cara, I've always worked with the same people mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so no, and, and they've got personalities. We, we spoke about what was coming. There really wasn't any change for uh, those people either. The only change is we're, we're working a small cluster and, and our line manager um, only looks after seven shops instead of 24. So it, it, it is engaged a wee bit more in the seven shops and I can, I can see that. How do you feel that impact? the closer management supervision it's fine for me again i think um, because of my experience you're talking so, somebody that's been working with the company for 30 years so that didn't it phase me at all because um i think the good thing is that the, the, the line management um recognized it, the staff who's been here a long time and absolutely know it, what's what um, they don't need to take this by the hand or anything so it was just business as usual as far as I was concerned with running the show. Do you think that's consistent across all the BPMs? Um, I think you possibly had quite a good relationship with your BPM. I, uh -huh. And I've got the same one. Yeah, yeah. That, I was saying there's a good relationship there so. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But I have to say I'm that type of person with helping out whoever um, I, I work with so no I, I, I don't have and I can't answer how the, the others are coping. Okay, anything else that you think might factor um, job satisfaction levels after these structures? And you can think it might not have personally impacted you, but it might be how other people were feeling. Um, the, the only thing was that um, there was a bit of a kind of wind that the CEAs um, that weren't qualified as like if they never done the deputy role they wouldn't they couldn't work at night or couldn't take the responsibility of opening and closing the shop and um that was a huge rumble which was addressed because it's ridiculous to say um, that people have got skills and you're not using it because in paper it's not there so uh, it, there was a wee bit of rumble about that more so because the, those particular staff when they get paid then yeah, no, I could see that that was an issue. Was that more than this? Because we didn't have a lot of that in our side, no. but... Well, I think it was, it was just talk, side. but it never really happened. So, um, I think there's been a lot of things thrown up in the air and see, uh, you know, what they can manage and what they can manage. What they can put forward or try. Um, a lot of ideas, but nothing's really uh, kind of took off. How do you think the career progressions now after the change, better or worse? Um, Again, Cara, I've not really um, implied myself with any of that. 
uh, because I know that um, I'm coming the, uh, I'm not saying I'm, I'm retiring but I'm going in uh, uh, two days so all of the roles that I get involved with before um, I'm not involved anymore so um, it's not that I'm not keen at anything like that but it's, it, I, I see my role as, as running the shop and looking after the customer as far as it, staffing issues go then that's the BPM role it's not mine it's difficult at the beginning uh, because I've always been involved in it but um, I'm not asked anymore, so so that's it. Do you feel better or worse for having less control over your working environment? Well, obviously better. No, any pressure. I, I, I don't have to kind of mm -hmm. um, change my days off and, um, you know, sort anything out as far as, like, um, your job role as a, a shop manager because if there was any issues, my... Um, part of my role was to sort the issues mm -hmm. when I was a shop manager and now I don't. Fair enough. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. that's enough. Your one's quite positive as well, which is good yeah. because